checking out the Terra now. We're gonna go out to the barn to see the the actual facade. He said they have the side porch and everything set up, which was probably the piece that you see most in the movie with the most actors on it, or the most times in the movie with the main actors and people from the movie. <laughs> All right, we're about to go on in. You guys ready for this? What? This big one back here. All right, take a look at this. So this part right here is the window that we see Scarlet and the twins talking in front of that, that shutter and everything. He said when they assembled it, they actually assembled it backwards, but that right there is what they're standing in front of. And then this shutter that's inside, you can see here, that shutter is the, the green drapes, the green drape shutter, where that was. I'll take a look around. These are all windows and various pieces. Everything has been, he's literally kind of went through the movie and just kind of figured out what everything was. Now this piece right here is the window that we see Mammy and Prissy and Port standing in front of. Some really, really interesting pieces in here. So that's what they labeled this window right here, but he said he doesn't think that's necessarily that window. Because there was a company that cataloged things first before they got it, and he's been going through trying to verify that what they call it or what they say it is is what it is. Now all this, the step and everything that you see here, that was um, that was part of the side porch that we see throughout the movie. See, that's that porch. And then, we're gonna go back here, and these posts are the side posts from that porch from Tara. There you can see the railing and the posts over there. So then if you look close enough, you'll see all these little marks like where it wasn't painted and stuff. That's where the, uh, the railings and everything would have gone. And the reason it looks really old is because you only see the movie, or in the movie, you only see Tara looking pristine for like one shot, really. And then when they come back after the war and everything, it's all distressed looking, it's all run down. So that's why you see it now looking distressed. And then these are those railings that went along the side of the post that I just showed you. So this whole section right here is all that porch. They, we see so often in the movie. Now let me tell you what this is. This is great. This is the window at the top of the stairs that we see Scarlet shoot the Yankee out of. He said when he got it, it was in tons of pieces and he literally had to go through and start reassembling it. Look at it. Look, at, look how it's put together. You can see it's even the gaps in between it. You can see that's how it was constructed. <laughs> And one thing he's really pointed out is he said, the people that built this set were very, very smart. He said, in many cases, when we found the screws and things, he goes, we could just slide them right in. They made this so that it could be, it was kind of built in like a peg fashion where once you put the peg in, it just held everything together. So I thought that was really neat. Yeah, take a look at all this. Can't believe it's all gonna be sold. The only thing they don't have is um, Mammy's window, which they say when originally it was gonna, they were gonna build a museum, and then the town that said that they had the money for it didn't, and um, Miss Betty re repossessed it. They um, said that they somebody actually stole Mammy's window because they were going to make it like their own tourist attraction. So Miss Betty just said, nope, I own all of Terra. That's not part of Terra, and just killed it. So nobody really knows where that piece is. And the front door is actually in the Margaret Mitchell house. And that's gonna be sold as well. Look at that, that's just so cool. That's, I mean, that's the side porch. <laughs> See, that's that porch. And I just had to take my uh, picture right in front of the window where Scarlett shoots the Yankee out of. It's too cool. And he said that when they, uh, when they film things on 
the uh, sound stage and everything, they actually just went and grabbed like the shutters or the doors right off the house. So there wasn't multiple um, pieces of the same set, but the way they made it was like this compressed version of um, kind of like plywood. And so he said he found pieces to show us, to kind of show us how that was constructed. And it, it was basically like, like this, you can see it was, kind of a papery type wood that they laid over and it was uh, constructed out of like horsehair, mud, various things. Like they put it into a pot and just like created this composite out of it. Look at all this stuff though. What an experience before it's all gone. You know, we were telling the guy here, we're like, man, it's too bad they won't sell it in pieces so that fans can have it. And he said, well, you know, that's really what I thought they should do with it but they want to sell it in one piece just in case a museum will buy it and put it together but he said originally what miss betty's um plan was for the museum they said she had already made like literally got blueprints and it was going to be kind of like the facade of Terra, and then a deep deep museum behind it that you would go into so good luck to the happy bidder and when you have an option to get a picture of yourself in front of the side porch from Tara from Gone with the Wind, you do it. <laughs> now one of the things you said also is that this door, like this window, that was the one that we see Prissy in the uh, like kind of washing dishes, that would have been right in front of her. There you can see how it was put together. And then this chunk right here, this was all the roof or the um, the like overhang of Tara that on the porch that would have went with this because those posts would have been what were underneath it. So it kind of if you can kind of envision, there was the roof, there were the posts below it, and then that all connected into the porch and our railings back here for the porch. Very cool. When I found out that he was only doing one more of these, I had to just get in gear, make it happen because I have one, he's been doing this for a while and I've really wanted to come and take the tour and just put it off. Well, that's the end of our tour. He actually wrote two books about this project, so I'm gonna go and buy them and I'll show them to you guys. And uh, if you want to get them from Peter, please do. Very detailed. This guy knows the ins and outs of all the history behind the true stories of what Margaret Mitchell wrote about. I mean, those were real people, real stories from her life. <laughs> it's crazy, and he knows everything. So this would have been the real 12 Oaks, and just for reference, um, that's where Ashley Wilkes would have lived in real life, and then right across the property that was right through here, used to be the Fitzgeralds, that was Annie Fitzgerald was the real Scarlett O'Hara. So that's how close they really lived. They grew up right across from each other. That's why she would have had that big crush on Ashley. And these are his books. Lost in Yesterday, A History of Gone with the Wind, 70th Anniversary, and The Saving Terra Project. Peter Bonner. Well, my friends, that is it. We are done with the tour for the day. I hope you all enjoyed this. Who knows? You may get a little bit more Gone with the Wind tomorrow. I'm not going to be a spoiler. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you for watching, and help save Tara. Go buy the book. Have a great night, and goodbye.